nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, time for some eight ball, yeah. I will teach you how to run the zinc in eight ball. And I will tell you which is the best choice in salis or stripes. And the cue ball, I think we can put the cue ball there in the, in the center of the table. And uh, let's make a problem over here. Let's see, let's say it is like that. Let's say we make it something like this, okay. Make it interesting. Okay, make it very interesting. What is the best choice here? Salis or stripes? You want to pick uh, the salis over here. Because you can make this combination. You hit the seven, then you hit the three ball. First hit the seven, then the 15, and then the three ball, you make a three in the corner. Okay, so what I will do, do is that uh, I will pick it right, right from the first shot. I don't want to wait because I will run out of balls to play position with if something goes wrong. So I will make it first. I, I, will put, I play position somewhere here with the cue ball and then I can make the four ball after because the four ball is, the one ball is blocking the four ball. So getting position for the four might be difficult. So I will do that. Top left spin. There you go. You see, now we have a problem over here. I played position for the four ball, perfect. But now we have another problem, so we need to fix that. And now, because we have so many salis left on the on the table, we are able to use a strategy and try to break open that problem over here. If I had waited until the end and I did did that combination, I wouldn't have a good shot on the seven, and I would have lost the game. But now we have many balls. To choose from and I can play position I can uh, I can use strategy to fix that problem because of so many balls left on the table so what how can we fix that problem I can do it right away maybe from the four ball draw back try to hit the seven there that is one solution that I have I, I would just try to go for it right from, from the first shot no I did not succeed there we get another chance, okay? If you do, if you fail, if you fail to break open a problem, you get another chance, and that's a good thing. That is a good thing with keeping many balls left on the table. You get many many chances to fix the problem after afterwards. Now second chance with the two ball, make the two in the corner. Try to break open this problem. Low left spin. And I failed. Let's do it again. The two ball is tough to see with the shadow over here. Shadow on the table. And that's, this, this is really not any shadow. It's just sunlight has been bleaching this cloth. But sunlight has not reached this part of, of, the, of the cushion. It looks like it is a shadow, but it is not a shadow. It is a, sunlight has been bleaching the entire cloth except for this this spot over there and that it, it makes the two ball harder to see for me with my mask on something like this okay so yeah uh, okay so low left spin ah almost i almost hit the seven ball that was bad luck now i have only three balls left to use for breaking open that problem, okay? So that's what of, often happens, that when you fail, you get many, many chances to, to fix the problem over there. And what I see is that as a last resort, you can still make a bank shot, make the seven in the side pocket as a bank shot. If you are on the one ball, you roll it in, you roll in the one ball, you have a shot here, make a bank shot. That's the last thing you, you can do. If you, if, you fail, if you fail, if you fail in breaking open the problem. So here, what I see here is, uh, I will go around the table, make the six in the side, go around the table like this, play position, maybe for the five ball there. Oh, I messed up. I, ooh, I did not, I did not want that to happen. 
So we don't have a choice. I need to make the one ball in the in the corner. Make the one in the corner. Draw back a little bit. Oh, it rattles so so hard. I had to shoot harder there. Let's say uh, let's say it went in. Now I want the five ball. I will play position for the bank shot. And I can also make look at this. This bank shot is tougher, but if I miss the bank shot, making the seven in the corner, and the seven will stop here, it will be in front of the thirteen for the opponent. So I think that is the best choice that I have here. Play position for this bank shot. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna select that. Normally you would like to play position for the bank shot in the side because it is easier, but I will select this bank shot in, into the corner. Play it soft. I, I hit the 15 there. Do it again. Soft bank shot. There, if I miss the shot, sometimes it le leaves like this in front of the 13. I will do it again. I will show you the. I will show you what can happen when you do this bank shot. So always make this uh, this bank shot a little softer. You can see that it is sometimes it is going to leave the opponent a tough shot if you miss this bank shot. I will do it again. Softer this time. It was still still a little, little too hard. But yeah, you see that I think next time maybe I will do it again. I need to shoot softer on that shot. I should have shot, shot, shot softer like that. Now there you go. Now I have a good shot on the 8 in, in the corner here. I will do it again. That's a perfect way to make this bank shot, shoot soft like that. And now, oof, I hit it way too wrong. But did I luck him up here? Almost. Let's do it again. That's a way too soft, but you see here, ah, maybe. Yeah, the opponent had a tough shot. Let's do it again. Oh, I hit a little too hard. That was a little too hard there, but opponent has a tough shot with position. If he makes, if he makes the 13, he will hit the 7, so... This is a very tough, tough bank shot, so that is why, right, right from the beginning, you need to fix the problems, right from the beginning, because then you don't get another... You don't get a good shot in the end. You don't get a good shot at all in the end. So I'm showing the different variations of what can happen. And you see that I get a good shot of the eight, eight ball every time from this bank shot. Yeah. Yeah, I will do it again. Yeah, nope. So this, this is about 10% 10, 10, 10 chance of, of winning the game, about 10%. Sometimes it will get stuck like this, then that, that is good, because the opponent will have a tough shot, but so far it is not so, so good. You don't win so often, yeah, it, it, almost every time I leave the opponent uh, a good shot in the end. And these bank shots, when doing them soft, they are not so easy. Yeah, there he goes. He is uh, snookered behind the seven, seven is in the way there, so he can't make that, that shot. I will do it again. Ah, I miss it on the, this side. I, if you are going to miss the ball, it should be on that side. So it will go like that. Very tough to make a soft bank shot. These are the toughest ones. You need to practice them. You see, there you go. Now it's in front of the 30. That is the correct speed. That is the shot you want. When you, when you make this bank shot, that is the speed you want to use. So, ah, got a miss cue. Got a miss cue. I will rotate the cue so I don't need to chop the cue. Yeah. 
And there you go, it is in front of the 13. You see how critical it is to fix the problems very early. Because then in the end you have a tough shot, you, you have about 5% chance to win. If you have a tough shot in the end. So that is good, you see, it is blocking. The 7 is blocking the 13, the opponent will have a very tough very tough layout here on the table, very tough for him. And the chances are that you are going to win this game because the op opponent can't get any good shots here. So he will, he will attempt to make a safety. That's, that is his whole, only choice. He makes a safety. And if he makes a safety over here, he, he will pro probably put the people somewhere here. But then you have a ch chance to make a kick shot on the seven. But chance, this, this is your final chance kick shot on the, on the seven. Sometimes you make it. If, if you don't make it, opponent still has a tough shot there, so you, you haven't, uh, you haven't uh, destroyed anything. You, you still have the seven in the way of the 13 if you miss the shots like that. Then the opponent will get, uh, will get ball in hand behind the kitchen over here. Okay, so let's make it one final time. The make bank shot. Soft, soft bank shot, lock him up over here. Same thing here, opponent has a tough, tough rack right now. So making that soft, soft bank shot is extremely difficult, okay? Much easier if you shoot it hard, but then you don't leave the opponent any tough shot after, after you miss. So this is the end of the video, and the next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool.